from the high prisoner profile swap netted the U.S. Brittany Griner and the freed notorious Russian arms dealer, the merchant of death, continues to develop. Now, Russian state media praising their president, Vladimir Putin, calling the transaction capitulation by America. For more on this, let's welcome in retired U.S. Air Force Brigadier General and news mash contributor, my man Blaine Holt. General, appreciate you being here. Unfortunately, I wish we weren't, you know, basically yeah. talking down on our own president here, but he made a really bad trade, and it has nothing to do with her skin color, her gender, or her yeah. uh, you know, a sexual I, uh, you know, orientation. It has everything to do with the fact that we just put a guy back out on the street that we spent millions in resources to capture and who is one of the chief architects of some of the major global conflicts over the last three decades. Yeah, on the, on the whole of it, Carl, it looks like we've responded to <clears throat> political sensitivities for this administration rather than exacting American uh, strength and leverage uh, to affect the return of both of these illegitimately held people. We, we don't begrudge Brittany coming home. That's wonderful. But how we got there is just more of a, of a never-ending cascade of, of weaknesses demonstrated. And the perils only go up from here as we just continue to do this, from Alaska with the Chinese to Kabul, a deterrable war, uh, to here we are. Yeah. I mean, but at the same time, it's like, let's run through some of the things, some of the conflicts he's armed, okay? A, a myriad of conflicts in Africa where he supplied arms to both sides of, of conflicts, but also Afghanistan. Now, America just left, man, give or take, $80 billion worth of weapons there. Do you think he's going to find a way to start trafficking those elsewhere? Oh, yeah. I think this guy was sitting in prison honing his skills going, gosh, I wish I could get into that, that Afghan arms market. But to your point, uh, he's funded $50 million to, uh, in weapons to the Taliban alone to go oh. after Americans. And he doesn't stop with military, by the way. He's, he's interested in weapons getting into any hands that will kill Americans. And, uh, and so we, we didn't have any other tools diplomatically to go mm -hmm. uh, recover our prisoners. Yes, of course we did. Yeah. Well, one of my producers actually mentioned this this morning. It's a good, it's a, it's a solid point, which is, Let's say he does, you know, sell arms to something, and it does cost American lives in, in future conflict. Brittany Griner, you know, she's going to have to stand up and say, wow, those deaths are the price of my freedom, no? Yes, she absolutely does have to do that. I wrote an op-ed about this yesterday. Uh, I hope that uh, as Ms. Griner comes home, uh, she's got a new perspective on life and what a country, although imperfect as all countries are, with a constitution, a bill of rights, uh, uh, looks like. And, and maybe we'll see uh, a, a, a reborn American in, in her coming and, and doing positive things in our communities. Yeah. We have a little over a minute left. Paul Whelan, okay, Marine, left over there. Donald Trump was criticized for recently for not bringing him home when he had the chance um, because that's what the media does is criticize Donald Trump. But uh, he said, and, you know, I, I happen to agree with Trump on this one, which is that, you know, is it worth selling the world's foremost arms dealer back to Russia for the price of one of our guys? He weighed the options as any business transaction was. He says, look, he's a Marine. I'd love to bring him home. He's an American citizen first and foremost, but not at that cost. Um, Biden, shouldn't he have gotten a two-for-one here? Yeah. Well, we should have gotten a two-for-one if this was what they were going to do, but I don't think boot ever should have been part of the uh, formula. Uh, you know, we, we could actually tomorrow start pumping oil and gas uh, and, and flowing it into Europe to start to strengthen resolve against Russia. Putin wouldn't want that. Uh, we could start providing longer-range weapons and giving the Ukrainians the ability to do deep strike inside of Russia, legitimate military targets. We could do that. Uh, would that bother Russia? Yes, it would. Would those be things that could uh, affect the release of those prisoners and get people to the tables? Yes, they could. It doesn't have to be a, a thug who wants to kill millions of Americans in play, nor an assassin in Germany. Mm. Why do we always do things the foolish way? I, I just, I am so baffled by the fact that, that, you know, I mean, I don't put much by Democrats, but this is like the pinnacle one. Like you just laid out the roadmap for American success in 30 seconds or less. So General Blaine Holt, we appreciate you doing that. You have a great day, brother. All right, you too.